it is no longer news that one of the fastest growing industries in Nigeria is the entertainment industry and the movie industry. And on this platform, we celebrate their resilience, their tenacity, their consistent effort in bringing Nigeria to the spotlight, and also for being a formidable force to be reckoned with. This is Nigeria Movies Today, and I'm your host, Fumi Adeyola. You're welcome. Let's go straight to the movie of the week. Our movie of the week is Obsession. Obsession was written by Adela Ari Awotedu and directed by Chidi Ebere Mwosu, a.k.a. Director Mo. The movie starred Monachi Abi, Gideon Okeke, Messi Ayegbe, Shafi Bello, Benedicta Gafar, amongst others. Who is she? The new neighbor I told you about. Hi! Obsession tells the story of a marriage relationship between a young lady, Benedicta Gafar, and her husband, Gideon Okeke. The marriage happens to be having cracks. These cracks are the ones that get worsened as the couple now have a new neighbor. Sadly, this would be our last session. You make it up to me! We still have a long way before we come back. She will never change. You ladies know each other? St. Mary's College? No! Obsession is an interesting movie, possibly for all to watch. For all you married folks, Obsession is one film you should really watch out for. We have a guest in the house on our set, and he is one of the finest in the movie industry. You might not really be familiar with his face or his name, but believe me, he's one of the brilliant brains behind the favorite movies you watch. Our exclusive guest this week is Idowu Adedakbo. Born to Mrs. Florence Adedapo on 26 November 1973 in Obomo North local government area of Oyo State. Idowu Adedapo had his primary education in Oshupa, Obomo Oyo State. He started his career in the film industry from small, playing with frame of TV in year 2010. He has featured as director of photography in movies, some of which include, but not limited, to King of Thieves, Road to Yesterday, 2015, King of Boys, 2018, Chief Daddy, 2018, Olochuri, 2019, The Reunion, Head Gun, Knockout, In Bed with the Pedros, Dear Afi, 2020, and recently, The One for Sarah, 2022. Idowu Adedakbo has starred in some television series, some of which include on the real TV series, Castle and Castle Season 1 and 2, Under the Belly web series, Organe Kome TV series, and Stardom, a TV reality show. Idowu Adedakbo has won Sound City Music Video Award. Idowu Adedakbo, a cinematographer, Known for King of Boys 2018, has craved a niche for himself in the film industry. All right, welcome back. It's still Nigeria Movies Today. And like I said earlier, we have an exclusive guest on set. And like I also said, that you may not be conversant with his face or his name. But believe me, that is one of the brilliant brains behind your favorite movies. Talking about the King of Boys Part 1, Chief Daddy Part 1, The Reunion, King of Thieves. Just mention them and you will mention Ido Adedapo, a cinematographer for excellence and is on set with us today. Do you know he also has an alias, mm, a.k.a. Mr. Views. <laughs> Mr. Views is in the studio with us. Mr. Views, Ido Adedapo, you're welcome on set of Nigeria Movies today. Thanks for having me here. It's so good to have you. Yeah. All right, so let's just go straight to the point. Okay. The first one I want to address is that, you know, going through your profile and then seeing some of your your um, pictures yeah. on social media, okay. I saw this very big scarf on your head, like a Punjab. Okay. <laughs> what, is, what is the rationale behind that? Yeah. Actually, um, we have um, we have people who see as mentors okay. here in Nigeria. Okay. Um, 
I always follow Mr. Tunde Kilani. Okay. So he, he likes this um, um, traditional cut. Mm. And then um, Mr. Patrick Afun, okay. he likes this Fulani art. So on my own, I said, okay, I have yours. great people right in front of me, which they, they lay their own fashion in mm. their filmmaking as a cinematographer. So what can I do to make me unique also? Yeah. Everybody have their own style mm -hmm. of creating signatures. Some people like beards as a cinematographer, some like calf just to wear. So, mm. as I to so do yours is that turban. Exactly. <laughs> it looks good on you anyway. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Mr. Do. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, while also going through your profile, okay. I, I saw that you said you started you already had this creative mind since when you were young that you were going to be yeah. a director of photography yeah. and it says that when you were young you were you were you started with a tv frame yeah can you shed more light on that okay that was a uh, long ago when i was small okay back then um i used to watch uh, some yoruba a series then when during black and white uh, TV. Okay. So whenever my mom took us to church, I ran out to go and watch TV. So from there, I started watching, okay, what is talking, what is behind this box? That screen. Do you understand? So at a point, I, I have to spoil a TV, <laughs> my parents' TV. Like, ah, okay, people are talking behind. What is Where there? are they? So I have to spoil the TV and bring out the tube. Really? Inside, broke the tube. Uh, the tube, nothing, nothing inside. Nothing was inside. Okay, this is a frame. People are showing. Can I be shown? I mean, like, can people see me from here? So I have to raise it up, and see. Okay, there's nothing. Then I want to get the, to the root Roots. of this. Mm, that's deep. And uh, yeah, so that's what prompted me. Like, okay, I really have interest in these people talking. I actually have interest in talking and TV, not behind. Oh. But along the line, from from my own village, Obomasho, mm. my mom had to drag me down to Lagos to come and stay with my brother. Okay. Luckily for me, he's into this uh, wedding coverage oh. thing. So okay. and I was okay. So whenever he goes out and bring out the... That time it was VHS. Okay. So we'll play... Uh, okay, how can people be inside, inside. this cassette? <laughs> this tape. And they will play and, and you talking. see different people okay at a point i was about spoiling his tv <laughs> again <too. laughs> so you have to stop me so that was our uh, start having interest in so not quite long that's the um, movie that i watched I, I saw something similar um what's it called in this film beast of your nation okay that when the small boy bring out the thing and the imagination tv mm. see that was me when you were young i was 80s so you get him. So from there, my brother hooked me up with his friend, as um, Mr. Tajudi Nadikwetu, oh, okay. my boss, the boss I ever respect and ever respect oh. because he's the one that gave me opportunities, the one that brought me into limelight when it comes to filmmaking. And kudos to Mr. Wasiu Adibola Onitilo, is my boss. So those are the people that make me realize that, mentored that you. yeah, that mentor me and make me realize that there's nothing inside the bus. They have to be in front of camera. Then this is what record them and play it out to people. Too. All right. So since 2010 that you started professionally, what has the journey? How has it been like? Oh wow, it's not been easy, but at the same time, glory be to God. You know, from 2010, I've been. That was when I had the. Um, First opportunity to, I mean, to stand behind the bigger camera, mm. and the film was um, uh, Ed Gone, called Ed Gone, mm. produced by late Sam Sultan and yeah. Babadi. Yes, so that was yes. my first big mm. film that brought me into limelight. Then followed by Road to Yesterday as a Genevieve in Nigeria. Nigeria. So from there, I started grabbing and read more about okay, how can I improve myself? So, and ever since then, to God be the glory. Mm. Things have been moving on well. Mm. Yeah. Indeed, to God be the glory. Mm. All right, 
why these times that you sit down and even while you're sitting, you're thinking of your next action, mm -hmm. had there ever been a time that there's been a rule between you or anybody on set? Like, has there ever been a time that you wanted the crew to do something like you mm. feel is going to be better? better yeah. And, you know, maybe most of the people there disagreed. Like, no, 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 no. Had there uh, ever been that kind of um, yeah. scenario? It's happened. It's happened most, um, sometimes. Most especially sometimes PM. Okay. When... For them, um, you know, just what's PM? For somebody who is production watching that, manager. Okay. As a film production manager, all right. Most of the times, production manager don't give you what you want, what you ask for, or what you agree on okay. before going on set. Mm. Do you understand? So sometimes it might be the location that okay, you must have done the location recce, recce but yeah. why when filming, some things might change, change. That, that location that we got, even it's before we come on set, anymore. we can't get it again. This is it. But sometimes they will not, some pro, um, production manager will keep it to themselves and take, they, they will now take you there. This is not the agreement. This can't work because showing me the first one, I have the picture of what I want to do already. But take me, or bringing me here now really destabilize my, or really scatter my brain. Like, how do I go about it? Why didn't you tell me before now? At least I will, I'll find time to go and check and know what to do. So sometimes maybe PM production manager. Mm. Sometimes the cast. there's some crew, okay. there's some crew that they really don't get, they really don't get or understand what you are trying to tell them to do. Meanwhile, you're okay. You ask maybe let me say a gaffer uh -huh. or grip person okay. to do something, and you and director were talking about you know how to execute the scene. Mm. Coming back and see what it are. This is not Dude, what I this asked is you not to what do. I ask you to do. And any little time counts. It's every second counts. Really? On set. Mm. Every second is millions of naira. Really? Once you miss it, it's going to bounce back on the, uh, the executive producer, which they don't like. Why is that? Why is that? Mm, it, because of the days. Then sometimes you have, you have some actors that want to go. Mm -hmm. They have um, maybe like two, three hours of filming mm. to do their scenes. Their scenes. They, are, they are going to another location. Another, another location and you have to get it done. So if you miss it, the actor will not consider the fact that it's crew fault. Once it's time, you they want to go. But if you have to retain them, you have pay to pay more extra. Money. So oh. everybody has to be on their on A game. Yeah. So um, that's just it. Okay, so for somebody who is watching you right now yeah. and feels like, ah, I'd like... Um, Idowu Adedakbo, aka Mr. Views, and I want to double into cinematography. I want to do what he's doing. Okay. What does it really entail? Is it just training or training on the job, or you really need to go to a higher institution and institute, you know, just to learn that um, okay. skill? Okay. I always tell upcoming DPs. See you know, what's DP again? Director of photography. Okay. <laughs> that this is what they need. First of all, like what you, what, what you, you do. Yeah, first of all, like it. Like I like what I what I want to become from beginning, when I was small, taking the frame, and showing my face. So me, I don't know. Seeing it on um, this of no nation, I was happy that oh wow. So somebody it's else. Not, yeah, it's happened to. So somebody mind. can think about this too. If any upcoming want to become a DP, first of all, understand what you want to do. A lot of people want to join because they see Mr. Views driving big cars. Hmm. They don't know the price he pays. Exactly. They don't know the price. I always tell them, the phone you are carrying is also a school. The gadget. It's not everybody that, that can afford um, um, film school. Hmm. It's not everybody. I always tell them there is a site called No Film School hmm. that you can read. You have everything on it. Everything when it comes to production, everything, both makeup, clapperboard, cinematographer, everything, costume, everything. No Film School. They call it No Film School. It's a site? It's a site okay. called No Film School. They can. 
Because don't get discouraged because you want to be you want to become a DP and you don't, you don't have, have the resources. You don't have the money to go to, to an go institute or an institute. Steven Spielberg. Mm. He didn't go. To he didn't go to film school. Till now, he didn't go to film school, and he's one of the top cinematographer in the world. The world yeah. He didn't go to film school, so don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't. So you have encourage yourself. Nobody will encourage you. Even yeah. if there is money, if you don't like it, no matter how they force you, you go there and come and back mess up. and mess up. Yes, if there is money and you have someone that, okay, that can sponsor you and you have interest, it's fine. please go. But that if would not, be plus. Plus, a huge one okay. for you. But if not, you can start. Mm. I know if, if we start to count all the films that you have done now, we might not live here today. Mm. But has there ever been some that you can mention that, you know, that you felt satisfied doing those jobs or you felt, you know, there's this, you know, you were talking about loving what you do. Mm. You know, that those those shots or those, um, those films, those movies, yeah. you know, you felt more satisfied. You felt, oh, okay, now, even if I don't get paid for the next five years. Yeah, there is a lot of them. But this is one thing about filmmaking. Sometimes you expect, sometimes you be on set and you think, ah, ever since I've been working, this would be the best movie. Mm. But not but depending on the audience, mm. how they see it. Sometimes you use, sometimes I'll use smaller camera and, and come out to film. The outcome, the, the comments I will hear from outside are, mm. man, I don't expect this. And sometimes you go behind bigger camera, <laughs> the biggest camera in the world, maybe Ari Alexa, LF, um, Red, Monstro, Gemini, and all. And sometimes you know, ah, this is, man, I use all the gadgets, and everyone else. And it comes and out. And now depend on how audience. With the feedback. Because the audience will make you love what you do. Yeah. Because of their true. comment. Yes. Like when I, um, the last one I did was uh, King of Thieves. Okay. By produced by Femi Adebayo. Mm. Seriously, I that was my first Yoruba, Yoruba film, film that will ever. So when they call me and okay, I like the script, but I hope it's not gonna be like not that normal random Yoruba or whatever. <laughs> I like it. I put mm. all my effort, mm. but the comment I'm having now is when I was okay. Thank so God can. I put little or small effort then. <laughs> so how do you relax? How do you hmm. how do you enjoy yourself? Uh, to be sincere, I'm not a social media. I'm social life person. Oh. Because when it was small, no room for going out. Okay. You can even holiday. And I have a brother that's very strict. Oh. Once you are in holiday, he will ask you. Ask our mom to go bring on. Mm. So, so you're always reading. It's ah, indoors. We read and, and, and he, he can beat. He knows how to beat. Mm. So don't mess up. Don't go out. Don't ask for anything. His own is sleep, wake up, eat, eat read. read. He will not take us out. Mm. So you are now so, so used to that kind of Yeah. Life. Like even sometimes I'll just be at home. I'll read, check online, okay, what's new on camera. Because one thing about camera, once you relax, then camera will leave you. Mm. I hope the 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 money is as much as this time you are putting in. By God's grace, <laughs> God is giving us the little he can. Abi, be. Yeah. okay. So, like I was saying, that this is Idowu Adedapo, a cinematographer by excellence. He has been with this in the studio with us, and we have been chit chatting. Okay, so now that you know the face and the name behind your favorite movies, I'm sure he wants to tell you something. What, are the, what is your last word for your fans? Because they, they just like those films and they don't know who is behind it. So yeah. now that they know, what do you want to tell them? Yeah, I want, uh, I want to say a big thank you to my fans because I, I have a couple of people that always message me. Mm. Whenever they see my good jobs, the credits, they hail me. I really appreciate you guys. I will say thank you. For upcoming DPs, please don't get discouraged encourage yourself with mm. the little phone you have you can check youtube go to any site just google 
names are okay maybe you have any idea of the cam kind of camera you want to get used to it do it you understand in a small even if you don't understand you can see you can check some names on on facebook which you can get their contact you can contact me on uh, facebook do i did that or you see my number there one or two things so i do talk to people even sometimes they get my number from facebook then okay, call. They call i'll encourage them okay do it this way do it this way sometimes they'll be on set and mr views we are using social camera but i don't know how to go deep so i go sometimes i drive down to go and yeah, as, assist as sometimes we do it on phone so don't get discouraged because the opportunity you have now i don't have it back then mm, true so please be focused. That's the most important thing. And enjoy what you are what doing. You do. Enjoy what you are doing. I'm not saying Yahoo. <laughs> enjoy the camera work, lighting, sound, every other thing that I mean require the um, production. Just okay. try and know more about it. Don't be stereotyped. Mm. Like I'm enjoying okay. what I'm doing too, and exactly. that's why I'm having a swell time with exactly. you. It was nice having you on set today. Thank and you, like. Man. You know what I did that for? I said that you don't need all the money in the world to be the best that you can be. So up next is the interesting movies to watch. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Interesting movies to watch this week are The Rise of Igbinogun. I know a soldier who was once the strongest and strongest of them all. Now he's just a mere man who plows the earth. I am a blind old woman. How do you expect that I stop a liar? Her path is greater than yours. Did he go down as a true king? She will save our people. I decree that this one will be killed. Death? But these are just mere criminals. You need to stop talking about the palace. And boycotts. Reason that may not make sense to you. This is a mistake. Allah will take care of his own. I they tell me Allah will take care of his own. I they come to my place and speak too much English. You are not getting for money. Don't insult me. If death must come, I will embrace it. Fighting for what I believe in. If you like, spend the entire budget of this nation on your political degoism, but I, Alex Sullivan, will not be a party to your ticket pocket. We cannot be seen to be promoting disparity because of our own selfish interests. Indeed. You know, in the movie industry, stars have emerged, stars are emerging, and stars will emerge. On Nigeria Movies Today, here is our star to watch. Chioma Okafor is the first rising ever beautiful Nigerian actress, versatile entertainer, TV personality, and commercial model who came to limelight after she starred in a popular television series, Super Story, Monica where she captured the heart of viewers, gathered a lot of fans across the country, and ever since, she had been a rave of the moment in the entertainment industry. Born on 10th November in Indemili South local government area of Anambra State, Choma Okafo had a university education from Namdi Azikwe University, Oka, Anambra State, where she bagged a BSc degree in business administration. Her interest and passion for acting started at a very tender age, which justified her decision to venture into the profession. Choma Okafo has starred as Mimi on House 31, as Dr. Farah on Brothers, as Taina on Flatmates, as Monigo on Riona. She has also performed on stage plays such as Countrell, Man Here Ward, Pigeon. Chioma Okafo is a Nollywood actress with lots of potential waiting to be explored in the Nigeria movie industry. With all the beautiful segments we have brought to you today on Nigeria Movies Today, you will agree with me 
that the Nigeria movie industry is making Nigeria proud and also making Nigerians proud locally, continentally, and even in the diaspora. And all we can say is good luck, guys, and it can only get better. The sky is actually your starting point. Till I come your way again next week, keep the flag flying, keep being you know, who you are, and definitely we'll all get there someday. My name is Fumi Adeyola. Bye. See you next week.